Hello to all my artsy friends. Today I'm going to do some Kirkland's dupes and we're celebrating Christmas in July. These are great to get a head start on Christmas so you have a few decorations ready to go. And you know with my Kirkland's dupes I love trying to see how much cheaper I can make my versions compared to the Kirkland's ones. So let's get started on the first one which is this plaid wall plaque and they were having a huge sale when I took this screenshot so it was normally $35 and now it's $21, but we're going to make it for even cheaper than that. I had picked up this Dollar Tree frame and I had already put something in there, but I wanted to swap that out. I'd already measured it and made sure it was similar to the one from Kirkland's. So I removed the glass and I realized my paper <laughs> does not have the design all the way to the edge and I can't print that far to the edge on my printer. So I'm going to try to use just a little washi tape on the edges and that will cover up and really blend in everything on the edges. You could use um, a solid piece of ribbon or you could use washi tape like I'm doing here in a different color, but I just wanted to do something that kind of blended in with the black frame. So. I think it looks kind of cute. On my computer, I also recreated these signs. And what I'm going to do is print these out and I'm also going to glue them directly on a piece of foam core, which you can get at Dollar Tree. And then I'll use an X-Acto knife and we just trim those out. What's really nice about the plaid pattern in the background is you have something to line up these foam pieces with. It made it really easy to get everything perfectly straight with a little hot glue on the back. I just put those down and made sure they were evenly spaced. Now if you wanted to dress this up even more, you could add some florals on the top or a little ornament and you could go as elaborate or simple as you want. But since I am trying to match the original one, I'm going to leave mine as is. So here were the supplies we needed, only $3. And let's take a look at the comparison. I think they look pretty close. If I would have had a square frame on hand, I would have used that. But I think it's a very close dupe. What do you guys think? For our next dupe, this was a sign from Kirkland's I thought was really cute to keep out during Christmas. I love the little arrow and this would look really great on the kitchen countertop. It was originally $45, but you can see it was on sale for around $34 here. I created the milk and cookies sign. going to glue this down right onto the foam core like we did with the first signs. If you're curious about the history of Christmas in July, I did do a video last July with all the details on how that came about. So I will link that video down below in case you're curious about how this Christmas in July thing got started. And then you'll need a tube like this one. I got this out of the middle of a roll for wrapping paper. And then you can find these little boxes in the gift wrap section, or maybe it's the craft section in Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to cut that wrapping paper tube to the right height and glue it together. And then we're just going to paint it to match the milk and cookies arrow. And then I did notice there was a little twine bow with some little jingle bells on there, so I'm just creating one of those. Thank you. 
And then all we needed was the foam core, that little round box, some twine and bells. This was really inexpensive to make and if you compare it to the Kirkland's one, I think they look pretty close and we saved 30 bucks by making this ourselves. I saved the craft with the most savings for last, but real quick, I want to mention that today I'm joining some YouTube friends and they're also creating Christmas in July crafts. So I will link that playlist below in case you want more inspiration and you're going to get a head start on those Christmas crafts. If you're new to Artsy Cupcake and if you like what you're seeing here, then I would just love for you to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and also that notification bell. Plus, leave me a comment with your favorite types of crafts so I can make videos that I know you'll enjoy. So we have this holiday berry arrangement and it came in a little square planter and it was originally $75. I guess that's made probably out of a very heavy ceramic material but um, it was on sale here for $57, which I still think is kind of expensive. So we're gonna make it for a lot cheaper with Dollar Tree products. You can find these little wooden boxes, or they're actually little drawers, and you can find them in the craft section at Dollar Tree. You can also find these little wooden signs. There's a slightly larger one here, but I had one that said Just Beachy. I had created that. It actually said something else in there when I bought it, but I painted it and added a little sign because I was doing a nautical themed tiered tray. So I'm going to add these little wooden balls in the bottom and glue everything together. Those sticker beads around the edge were not on there originally. I added those from a sticker sheet from Dollar Tree, but I think they look nice, so I'm going to leave them on there. Now our inspiration piece had a decoration on the side, but I want to do something that's really Christmassy, so I think I'm going to put the word joy on the side. And then the last step is to add some paint, and I'm gonna do off-white so it matches our inspiration piece. While that is drying, I'm going to assemble all of the florals, and I have quite a few. I just kind of randomly put them together, although I was looking at the inspiration piece, and the center seemed to have like a, it's almost like a succulent looking floral look in the middle, and then it was surrounded by the pine needles and the berries, so I tried to work all of that in so it has a really full look to it. And then I really love how the joy looks on here. It's just neutral yet elegant and the cream paint really tied all of the elements together. So I'm just gonna pop those florals right in there and let's see how it turned out. So for only $9, we got a very nice and full looking floral arrangement. And if you wanted to use this during any other season, I think it would work if you just swap out the florals and the little Joy vase is really neutral and you can use it year round. So we made a huge savings here, originally $56 and ours was only $9. So I think this came out great and I'm really happy with the final look. Don't forget to subscribe before you go, that way you'll know when new DIYs get posted. And check out my friends playlist linked below if you want even more Christmas in July ideas right now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very creative day. Bye!